slowly building out the battery system here. Pretty excited about it too. So this battery, it's a 24 volt nominal, 25.6 volt, 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. My purpose for this is to go with my 24 volt inverter to put in my camper and start to slowly move away from using a generator when we're uh, camping off grid. Um, so this is gonna complement that system. I, unfortunately, I, I was a little impulsive when I bought this and I'm still not certain what I'm gonna do. I, I might end up getting uh, another 24 volt battery and um, just wiring that in parallel just to get some more amp hour capacity, or I might get another 24 volt battery, wire them in series, and then use a 48 volt inverter uh, and just you know smaller battery cables. Uh, there's some different advantages to upping up the, the DC voltage. I don't know where I'm gonna go with that, but quick walk around at least on this video and where I'm at with it. So uh, in comparison, over here you can see I have my 12 volt 100 amp hour. So if I back up here, you can see, I mean, it's basically just twice the size. Still, lithium iron phosphate is, I don't know, maybe half the weight uh, of a traditional deep cycle lead acid battery. <clears throat> so if you've never picked up one of these, uh, you know, big batteries, whether you've had them in a, a diesel truck or a boat, these things are half the weight. And in fact, um, I might even use this guy uh, in a boat for the trolling motor because uh, that, that does require 24 volts and, and this thing would be awesome. So we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm slowly starting to switch everything over though to these uh, lithium iron phosphate batteries. Um, so I guess real quick, the way that I've got this hooked up literally in the garage just for testing, you can see I've got my, uh, my meter here. I, I tested everything first, got it out of the box, charged it up with my lithium iron phosphate charger and then ran the capacity test on it and obviously I won't spare you the details on that but I did the simple 1500 watt heater and let it run and the capacity test showed 101 amp hours so just over the rated capacity which is great. Um, I charged it back up just to I guess give a quick demo on this uh, video here but uh, I basically got this hooked up to just the inverter and then the heater uh, real quick, I, I left out my capacitor here to show you. If you're constantly hooking things up for, or, or changing batteries out or something for the first time, it's always a good idea when you're hooking up your inverter uh, to just use a resistor so you don't get a big spark when your battery cables uh, touch your terminal. So basically you just take your battery cables, touch one end of the capacitor, then touch the battery, let the capacitors inside of the inverter charge up for even a few seconds and then quickly put your battery cables on and you won't have any spark. That's not something specific to this inverter. Typically that's any uh, smaller inverter. Some of the larger off-grid inverters do have capacitance built in so you, you don't have to worry about that. But better safe than sorry and you should probably always do it on a mobile setup. So anyways, when I flip on my inverter here, uh, you can see just getting power from the battery over to the inverter and we've got, uh, it's actually reading 26.5 volts right now charged up and switch on the 1500 watt heater. We're drawing some current here. And I, I mean, there's really not much more to say. This is a, a, a very simple, no frills, lithium iron phosphate battery. Um, these necessarily don't do well in extreme cold. So, if I end up using this in our camper and we're doing some deeper winter camping, I would probably get their um, smart battery, which has heaters and temperature sensors built in. That way you're not trying to charge uh, well below freezing and potentially damaging your battery. So um, just keep that in mind. But again, the size comparison here, I'll report back once I get this hooked up in either the camper or the boat and let you know how things are going. But this has been a good value. Amazon's always got it for a good price, and um, I've been happy with it so far. Thanks.